So now tell us a little bit about what the worm prefers to eat. Do you use vegetables and toast and things like that? Occasionally. They like the tomatoes. They like coffee grounds. I feed so much my pile of manures. I'll use a dump truck load of manure in six to eight weeks. Okay. Their favorite food really is manures. Some people call them a manure worm. They'll eat any decaying organic matter other than meat. They'll eat some, but if you try to feed some type of meat, you're going to get into problems with flies and, and everything mm -hmm. else. So decaying vegetation, fruits and vegetables, manures, they just go bonkers over it. Now, I also was reading somewhere of eggshell. Eggshell is calcium. The only benefit eggshell would be to you is if your soil is acidic. Here, we have the opposite problem. Okay. Our soil is very alkaline. The earthworm prefers a 6-9 to 6-8 soil. You can't get that here because of the water. So I tell people, the lady called water, go, don't put eggshell in there. It's just calcium. Okay. okay, now tell us about your manures, because I know you do a mixture. You don't just use one type of manure. Okay. The cow manure has a better nut nutritional content. The horse manure keeps the bedding looser. Either one of them dries out more quickly. By blending them, they hold the moisture better. Oh. Horse manure is a little bit lacking in nutrition. Them, They hold the moisture better best manure probably is, for, is rabbit because they get a more concentrated feed in their pelletized feed. They don't get mm -hmm. the hays and straws that horse and, ho horses and cows do. My biggest worms, hands down, if you look at what we just pulled out, those 30 dozen, those worms are way bigger than these. Mm -hmm. But we got them out from other rabbits. Okay. Because that, that's a more concentrated, nutritionally concentrated feed. Uh -huh. And it, that, that's the only difference between this and that is the feed they get. Okay, now what about chicken dropping? It's good, but it gets hot. You'd have to be feed it very sparingly because it chicken manure really, really heats up. I know of people that use it, but for the volume that we feed, these beds here will take two of those big wheelbarrows, sometimes three, per week. Wow. We put it in two to three inches thick. Mm -hmm. You couldn't do that with chicken manure. So now you're gathering the horse manure and the cow manure, mixing it together, mm -hmm. and then you put it about two or three inches on top of your worm. Yep. Now that's their actual food then. Yep. And then some of them you give them a little laying mash, others you give some cardboard. The manures are the best because 70 to 80 percent of what all creatures take in in nutrients comes out in waste. Well, horses, cows, and they don't get the diseases we get because they get the nutrition we don't get. So that's one of the reasons. One, it's everywhere around here, and it's free. But it also has, for growing fruits and vegetables, it has the most vitamins and minerals in it. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm not feeding manure, let's say I'm using more of my vegetables and compost and things like that, then would I put dirt and then feed them the, the compost? You would get your bedding, whatever it would be, whether it be cardboard or peat moss. Peat moss is the most common bedding. And then top bed. When I would have put my horse manure and cow manure mixture on the bottom, the first three, I wouldn't have done that then? No. Okay. No, if, if, I, I tell you, if, if you're going to feed manure, go with the manure bedding. Okay. If you're not, don't. Decide sooner what you're going to do. Okay. Like if you live next to a feedlot or uh, somebody has, there's a guy up the road who's got 14 or 15 horses. Mm -hmm. Manure is everywhere in West Texas. Mm -hmm. It's free. Right. It makes the best casting. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. If somebody were living in an apartment and didn't have the horses and the cows and they were just saving their tomatoes and their compost and everything, then you would say to use a different bedding. Okay. Bedding, 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 probably. Bedding. Okay. Because I've got some folks, especially in container gardens, mm -hmm. that you know, they live in apartments and they've got a balcony or something like that, so they don't really have the horses and the yeah. uh, the cows like we do in West Texas. Yeah, peat so. moth, coconut shell. The uh, fiber, the coconut fiber, fiber. Yeah. okay. Uh, they're, they're using that to some degree, usually. Mm -hmm. okay. If you have a, a bunch of leaves around, grass clippings, once they've, you know, well dried out and beyond the point of heat. Mm -hmm. okay, if, if you're going to feed manures, go with the manure bedding. If you're not, then stay away from totally. 
because if you blend them, the worms, I mean, it's no maybe, it's no might, it's, no it's just how quick they're going to die. So the, the worms don't like a menu. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to our vegetable compost, because a lot of people uh, save the vegetables from their kitchen. What do you suggest um, mixing as your vegetable compost? Potato peelings break down and decompose very slowly, so you've got to run them through a blender. Uh, some cabbages do that. The so one lady said she run it through a uh, microwave. So it started decaying and breaking down more quickly. And on a small home basis, you could blend everything. Now blend this with water so it's a juice no, blender. or a blender so it's just like mulch? Yeah, mulch, yeah. Okay. Make it easier for the earthworm to consume more quickly.